Hey, how's it going? I'm Hudson, here with Comel Truck Gear, and hanging out with our buddies at Pack Mule today, talking about tires. Uh, we got three different examples here. We got a highway tire, we have a pretty standard all-terrain, and then we have a mud terrain. And uh, we're just gonna talk about the differences in those and uh, why you might want one over the other. Uh, we'll start with the uh, highway tire here. This is a pretty standard um, off-the-shelf tire. Comes factory on a lot of vehicles. Uh, most of them are pretty similar. Uh, you'll notice there's a lot of lateral grooves in here for uh, steering and um, water evacuation. Uh, quiet tire, not real aggressive tread pattern, but you'll notice there's very little lateral grooves in here for um, you know, soft surface traction and that sort of thing. Uh, moving over here, this is a, uh, a BF Goodrich KO2, pretty common all-terrain tire. Uh, it does come factory on a few vehicles, such as the Ford Raptor here, uh, a few different uh, off-road specific um, packages available from the factory. Uh, you'll notice we've gone away from the lateral grooves, uh, the uh, quote-unquote steering grooves, and we've gone to a more you know, diagonal tread pattern, a little bit of lateral, but you'll notice most of it is, uh, is diagonal to the direction of the tire. And uh, this will be, it's a pretty good option for a daily driver, uh, somebody that drives their truck, you know, back and forth to work every day, uh, but also does a lot of dirt road driving on the weekends, getting out to your hunting spots, going fishing, going camping, that sort of thing. Um, you're going to notice a uh, a noise increase with a tire like this, uh, but not so much so that it's unbearable. Um, you'll notice that your, uh, your steering inputs in loose surfaces are uh, quite a bit better, much like sand at the beach, loose rock, gravel, that sort of thing. Um, really good kind of hybrid between your two you know, opposite ends of the spectrum. Uh, you still get a lot of tread life out of these and uh, they usually don't get real noisy until they're about at the end of their life. So uh, they're still a pretty comfortable tire and uh, you know, big difference over the uh, factory highway oriented lightweight tire. And then the far end of our spectrum will be the mud train. Uh, this is a BF Goodrich KM3, for example. Um, it's a BF Goodrich, is, this is a current mud offering, mud tire offering. You'll notice that we've gone to much larger tread blocks, uh, just overall, a lot less siping. Uh, so on this all-terrain tire, you'll notice the very small siping grooves, and those are for uh, wet weather traction and um, kind of water evacuation. And if you go over here to the mud terrain tire, you'll notice we've pretty much gotten rid of all the siping. We've gone to much larger tread blocks. The tread blocks are gonna hold up a lot better in aggressive surfaces such as loose gravel, limestone rock, like we've got a lot of here in Texas. Um, the downside to something like this is you're gonna notice a lot more um, noise going down the highway on uh, like paved surfaces, highways and such like that. And then you're also gonna notice your loss of wet weather traction. So wet weather traction in a, um, a hard surface, like going down the highway, the lack of the sipes means that the tire doesn't evacuate the water as quickly and you've got large tread blocks to basically float on top of the water, surface of the water. Uh, so those are the three basic uh, examples of kind of uh, truck tires. Like I said, this is what a lot of your trucks are gonna come with off the factory showroom floor. They're good tires, they're quiet, they're lightweight. They're gonna get you back and forth, uh, back and forth to the office. But what you're gonna see is as soon as you leave the uh, maintained roads, you'll notice a lot, a lack of uh, lack of performance. Um, kind of a mi middle of the road here, you're gonna notice not quite as much traction in loose and muddy surfaces like this, but a lot better going down the highway. And then the, op the end of the spectrum would be this, which is really great in all sorts of loose terrain and surfaces. It's gonna hold up really well in rocks, but you're gonna pay for it in the, uh, both the noise and the ride comfort. Now that we've gone through all uh, three types of tires, your, your three most common types, uh, it's kind of up to you and your use case to decide what's best for you. You know, every tire is going to be a little bit of a give and take on one end or the other. Um, but 
you know, it won't take long to kind of to figure out what your use case is and what you like. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on the Pack Mule channel and hanging out here in the shop with Comel Truck Gear. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. If you have any ideas for future videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.